Yes! Yes! This is what I was hoping for. Whoa, what a puzzle. Yeah, this puzzle is awesome. <laughs> and also ridiculous. All right, let's do it. Escape the mansion, ooh. So for anybody who doesn't know, Escape the Mansion puzzles are usually sort of like open rooms with a lot of simple things to do in them, um, but yet there's no way out. The level just like is, it'll either like spit you back to the start or there's just nowhere to seemingly nowhere to go. And so there's usually a creative mechanic at play in order to let you escape. I really enjoy playing them. They're a really cool type of level. I feel like somebody could make an entire game based around escape the mansion like things like not even in mario maker like an actual fresh game and it would be a it could it could be a really cool uh, puzzle game all right let's do it though i will say i guess part of part of what makes them great is that you're already operating in a world that you already know like the mario world and so you think you know how everything works but of course you don't because nintendo nintendo jank exists okay we have this thing let's see what's in it we have a niche room up here we have a shaft can't do anything in the shaft we do have vines Come back to those, maybe. Looking to see if I see anything behind the piranhas. Not really. Oh, I just realized that platform. Okay, we have some coins. Hmm. And we have nowhere to go. Maybe, let's check the door first to see if there's anything up there. I do see a block up there, but we can't do anything about it right now. Okay, what's in the door? I, all right, yeah, that's it, that's it. I don't want the hit, I don't want the hit. Okay, um, this is it then. <laughs> and this is why I love Escape the Mansions. What the heck do we do? What can we do? Puzzle King lives on, yes. Uh, Rubens, I just opened the level, welcome. So I'm noticing, the only thing I'm noticing is that this piranha looks weirder and I can't tell if it looks weirder. I can't tell if it actually looks like that. And I'm just, I've just never noticed or if there's actually something going on. Oh, that is a fire flower. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, anybody? Some of you will understand, but I have a, I have a burning need to destroy everything with the fire flower that I can. <laughs> uh. How do we get up there? Okay, unless this takes me back to the first room again, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, I did not get stumped by the first room. Let's see. Vine. Everything is vine. Um, I maybe didn't want to break those, but anything in here? No, got a little circle of coins. What comes out of this launcher? Mishroom. We don't need that right now. Um, there's a door. This might be the hint door. Box says, did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? It has great food, but no atmosphere. Oh boy. Okay, we need to, uh, we need to still maybe keep the fire flower or get a new one right there, potentially. Part of me wants to YOLO jump into these, which is why not. Okay, that's not the solution. We can go back and get another mushroom. And I want to see if... I want to see if this is the hint door. Yo, Mad Hatter, it's going quite well. Yeah, we don't want the hint, we don't want the hint. I'm thinking donuts, maybe. Is there something we can access or do with these donuts? Ooh, I can destroy these. Let's at least try that. Okay, that wasn't it. Um, anything else these donuts can do? No. Okay, I was thinking like I could go back in that original pipe with the donut, but maybe if there's one really high up, I could. Are there any more donuts? No, that's it. Hmm. Okay, I am currently I'm currently stumped. Unless I get it pretty soon, we're gonna call the prediction in favor of stumped. I've got I've got absolutely nothing right now. <laughs> um, what else can I even do? There's not much. I mean, I can YOLO into you. Nothing there. Yeah, I don't see it. 
All my best idea was the donuts, and they're not doing anything for me. Let's grab these vines. We haven't tried that yet. <laughs> I love how I do seemingly stupid things because I'll try anything in these levels. It could be anything. Um, can I have confirmation? Can I have confirmation from the level creator if possible that like it is beatable from this point, right? Like I haven't, I don't need to restart, right? It is beatable, yes. Okay, thank you. Just wanted to make sure. Now, what if I have to be small? Here's a question, here's a question. What if I don't want the mushroom somehow? What would that do for me? Not a whole lot. Uh, let's keep looking though. Mushroom is sitting there. Can I, I don't think I can do anything. Like I can't bring the mushroom anywhere. Ah, oh, this is why I love, this is why I love Escape the Mansions. I'm already totally stumped. Um, hold on, hold on. What am I, what am I overlooking? What am I, what's the thing I'm missing here? I want to jump into the piranhas up here more. Because <laughs> why the heck not? It doesn't do anything. Um, the door is hint, yeah. Um, falling donut was my idea too, but I don't... What can? It, what is it gonna let me do that I can't already do? Oh, there could be like a hidden block like right here. It doesn't sound right, no. Usually these aren't just like LOL hidden, maybe up here. Oh, that's not it. Okay, here's my idea. The launcher maybe has something that we're... Can I spawn the launcher differently somehow, maybe? Is there a path down? No, there's only path down is this. I can't climb this down right now. Um... Ah! That is interesting. Look at this. It doesn't spawn while you're here. It only spawns from the vine. Wow. Wow. That was very sneaky. Okay, we're gonna time. Oh, I just squished a Goomba. I'm so sorry, friend. Okay, let's just have a look real quick, but we're gonna time out for sure. There are a bunch of Goomba friends. That's the hint door, I assume. Let's just check. Yeah, that's the hint. We don't want that. We don't want that. And I'm glad the hints are very optional. I think that's the right way to do the hints, because I don't want them. And we need to go in there. I see. We need to go in that pipe, but it's like we can't get it there. Okay. And even a bounce off of a Goomba wouldn't be enough. Here we go. Now for this room. I need to stop bouncing on that Goomba. I'm so sorry, Goomba. What if we... It doesn't do anything. I keep killing Goobas. Stop killing them. Okay. Um. Hmm. I can't go back in there. Let's go to the. Let's go in the door. Maybe reset the Goombas from going in the door. Goombas are made for killing. So there is Goomba. They walk the other way now if I come out the door. Do they bounce off each other? They do bounce off each other. I assume the Goomba is going to just go up here in the twister. There's the Goomba. Goomba goes up there in the twister. That doesn't help. No, I just, I'm just drawn to them. I'm not even trying to do this. I was like, maybe it'll do something different on the way back. And I wanted to go see and then I fell on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's like I need to get one of them. It's like I need to move the twister. Because if the twister were moved, then I would be fine. Okay, let's watch what this one does on the way back. Don't kill the Goomba. Don't kill the Goomba. Anything different this direction? I don't think so. Oh, actually, I could bounce off that Goomba? No, it wouldn't help. Wouldn't help. 
Doesn't help me up here either. And there's literally nowhere else to go. This is so cool. I love this. That Koopa just despawned, didn't it? I'm thinking like, you notice how the twister sort of, here, if we put the twister off screen, is that enough? Yeah, look at that. See how it restarts its, um, it restarts its twistering? Uh, restarting the twistering is my only idea right now. But I don't think it would do anything useful. Do you walk off edges? Oh my gosh, you do walk off edges. Wait, so eventually they'll all accumulate down here. Do you enjoy escape rooms IRL? I do, yes. As long as they're not just a ton of locks. Maybe if they were a 50 foot lock. Okay, well now we have three Goombas down here. I feel like that's kind of hard to do well that known established mechanics. Yeah, boss guy, I think what you would have to do is you would have to present some mechanics. Like the way the original ones worked, they were sort of targeted at players who didn't play Mario Maker much. So like basic, basic platforming and moving around the world is sort of how you start. Um, and then that room has a little secret and it would have to be it would have to be a little secret That is like an incremental step on what they've already learned in order for it to work well in a game Like the game that no one had ever played before I want to make it escape the mansion game. I think you could do it right you would but you're right that you would, you would have to It would be a little different if people didn't already know the game. So what can we do here? By the way, I think I'm officially stumped um Restarting the twistering was my only idea, and it's like, what is it going to do for me? I just can't think about what it's going to do. Unless it lets a Goomba... Here, this Goomba is... Okay, now we restart the twistering. Oh, we didn't restart it. Dang it! Okay, this is good, this is good. So, I'm going to basically get the twister to, de to not twister, and then I'm going to go. Now the twister just starts. If I'd waited longer, the Goomba could walk right there. I'm assuming a Goomba walking in the same area as the Twister is not going to do anything particularly special. So, but we have to try it because it's the only idea that I have. I don't know how far off screen that guy will despawn. It still didn't work. There's no way for me to make it running really fast, is there? I see I went down there, that's what I wanted. Okay, what if we get hit? Let's try being small. Maybe being small is relevant here. I'm gonna try getting a lot of speed and running. That's <sighs> nothing. Try to like go in there. And just to confirm, I haven't currently lost the puzzle, right? Because there was a, there was a fire flower um, that won't respawn right here. So I just want to make sure I haven't currently lost the puzzle. Okay, have not currently lost yet. All right, we're gonna call this one for stumped. I am very stumped. Just sliding down the slopes make the screen scroll lower. Good question, let me look. Uh, what's a good metric for this? Um, the, okay, the, co the score count is touching the top of the coins right there. If I slide down instead, that might be like one pixel lower. What if I slide again? I don't think we're getting any lower. I'm like matching up. I don't think we're getting any lower. We are lower. Oh my gosh, that's lower. Look at that. So I'm what I'm looking at is the position of, uh, I'm looking at the position of this zero over this coin and the zero is getting lower and lower on it. So there's a whole vine underneath that twister. What does this do for me? So then the screen will eventually scroll back up, won't it? Yeah, there the screen starts to go back up. And that doesn't fix it. Interesting, but doesn't seem to be helping. The screen is quite low. I guess if you notice, the screen is quite low here. Does that help with anything? The lowest screen position is this, but it doesn't help. Okay, let's, let's use this Goomba right here. What can we do with these Goombas? Let's just try, I didn't do anything. Why are you trying to lower? Because we have, because we're going mad, Taff Life. We're trying to lower the screen because we're going mad. We have nothing. Wait, did I see something up there? Uh, we have nothing. We're losing our minds. 
What do we do? It looks like we need to get in this pipe, but we can't. There's a twister that does nothing. There's Goombas that walk in the twister and do nothing. This doesn't help. Oh, drafting coach. You ha So wait, is your idea, drafting coach, is your idea that that room is a red herring and there is no solution to that room? And the real solution? Look at this fireball right here. Look at that fireball. Look at that fireball. Look at that fireball! What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> but in the end, it didn't do anything. Is that just a is that just a little Easter egg hint to like because okay if you were to get hit before getting this fire flower if you were to get hit there's no other mushroom and so that's like a way yeah that's like the original solution it would have been so I see why they didn't do it this way but it would have been interesting if this mushroom just didn't exist and that was the only solution yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were cosmic braining for a second here. Does sliding into the Goombas do anything? You can slide all the way down there. Wait! Oh my gosh! I just realized if I slide into a Goomba, it retains the slide animation, which means that I can slide all the way into the twister by doing that, maybe? No, I, I just, how would it help? Listen, it's Mario Maker, I, anything could happen. Is there a way to jump into this? It almost looked like it right there. Oh, I, I can, but it doesn't help. Again, no hidden blocks. How do we, f I wanna free this twister somehow. A useful piece of information would be whether the solution is in this room because it is possible that the solution is not in this room. It is in this room and it's not a crazy mechanic? Oh my God, how can none of us find this? Okay, so level graders say there is a solution in this room that's not a crazy mechanic. What? How, how can none of us find this? Oh my God. What is the solution, I fly? What is the solution to this level? We can collect all the Goombas down here. Should I go in the hint? Should I go in the freaking hint? Oh my god. I think it's time for the hint. La okay, last call, chat. Last call. Can anybody think of anything new that we haven't tried yet? The other than go in the hint room? If the solution is go in the hint, can the level... <laughs> I don't want to use the hint unless we have to, but try getting hit while the camera is low. Getting hint, wait a minute, getting hint, no, getting hit, getting hit can't be the solution. It doesn't change the way they walk. They have to hit the other way. The hint is not required. Okay, 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 thank you. See, the level creators say the hint is not required. So what's the solution? Oh. Are you able to slide crash in the tornado before it starts? I tried. Do you check on up all the vines? Yes. What? Where did you come? What's different? What is different? What is different? Did I just never sit there? I just never sat still there. What? The door spawns you lower. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do we freaking trigger this? I think it's because I stood still. Yeah, let's see. Where did that come from? I swear I've been in and out of that door a billion times. You were so close. It doesn't, it really doesn't take that much time for it to jump up. Oh my goodness. So I'm assuming it can't spawn right here. Can it spawn if I do the camera thing, I wonder? I think I can't keep the camera low enough. What if I don't jump? I'm gonna just try running off the edge and, okay, I'm just gonna run up, no jumping. Oh my God, it just... Well, without the Goomba, the boot wouldn't have jumped up. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. So once you jump up here, I think the camera goes too high. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's finally over. And we're not even at checkpoint one yet. <laughs> we're not even at checkpoint one yet. Even if not the Goombas that anybody thought. All right, what do we got now? This is the hint door, presumably. Let's just verify this is the hint door. Oh, maybe? I don't even know if that was a hint door. Okay, we have, maybe just a reset door. We have a lot of skull platforms. Holy moly, we have a lot of skull platforms. We have a breakable block here, but certainly no way to break it right now. Let's see where, oh, the skull platforms kind of go over there. What's down here? Oh my goodness, there's nothing else here. It looks like we need to get a fire flower. Okay, where does that skull raft go? It goes down here. There could be something here. There could be something here. This is a puzzle, Happy Lappy. This is an escape dimension puzzle that is perplexing our brain holes. So, let's go back in here. Let's look and see if there's anything else in here. Is this a hint? Wait, is this a hint room? Um, gloomy Greenhouse Getaway by Tuda and Rubens Cube. If this is a hint room, I don't want to be in it. Okay. Um, this looks like it's going to just kill me. So don't want anything to do with that. Maybe one of these upper skull platforms. It's a reset room. End of the hint room. Maybe this skull platform... We'll do something when it crumbles. Let's write it all the way. Or do they go, how do these work? Yeah, this one will fall. There are no hidden blocks in the level. Um, okay, let's try going up here. Nothing comes out of this. Nothing in the fines. I'm gonna go down here. This one will fall somewhere down here. Will it still stay spawned? I went really far down. Will this one like come fall down here? No. I'm already I'll tell you I'm already borderline stumped, but I maybe I'll maybe I'm on the cusp of a revelation with the skull rafts. I don't know. My plan is falling skull rafts right now. Hmm. I think I will die if I stay on this one, which I really don't want to do. Because there's no checkpoint yet. <laughs> yeah, it's the hint door. So we don't want that. When exactly does that one die? It dies there. There it goes off screen. So it's far off screen. Alright, we're very nearly stumped. There's not too many more ideas. If anything pops through that semi-solid on the right. I know, I was thinking that too. Like... I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for some, and you can even see that like the blocks almost kind of end down there. This skull raft, can we ride it the whole way? What if I just ride it? This has to be it. Yes! Now why did that happen that time? Why? What was different? because I bailed last time, I guess. But my question, but my question is, what is different between that and me just being here? In other words, why do I have to stay on that raft? Why won't it spawn just going here? When you land, this camera is lower. So the camera will never scroll right unless it's off of the skull platform. That's strange. Okay, yeah, hopefully there's a checkpoint. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Woo! All right, CP1, let's go. Wait. Hint? Where's the hint? Hints. I don't want hints. Okay, we want to go down here then. Okay, I wonder if this means that there was already a secret key. That would be interesting if there's a secret key. Um, all right, let's proceed down here. What? Reset? Yes! Yes! This is what I was hoping for. This is what I was hoping for. This is the beginning of the level. This is the beginning of the level. And so what that means is that we were never solving the mansion, escape the mansion. 
there was a secret key the whole time. Some people notice that there is a fire, um, or that, sorry, that there is a breakable ice block up there. If you follow this fireball, we have already discovered that it is possible to snipe that. And all it does is give you mushrooms, which are only necessary if you haven't already solved this. So we figured out how to get a fire flower here. And it's, I could get crushed by that. <laughs> it's not the solution that we're looking for. I don't think. So let's proceed. I feel like <clears throat> my best guess is will the solution involve the boot? Nothing right there, but there is an area up there that looks intriguing. Let's also make sure that the key's not just in you. Yeah, the key's not in you, that's too simple. And then let's make sure the key is not the key is not in you. Nothing nothing there. What if we go up here with the boot? We got a 50. I don't want the boot to despawn. Let's see if we can somehow get back in this pipe with the boot. Ah, here we go! This has to be it. This has to be it. And then... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I wanted to take the... Oh. Um, let's get this. I remember a couple breakable blocks. But I don't recall where they are. Let's see if there's anything else we can do first. I don't think so. I think there's still no way, even with the boot, into this pipe. We can break our vine. I don't know if that's going to be useful. Okay, I don't see a way back into this. So I think we do want to go back uh, where we came from. Oh, this might be bad. I guess I can get another boot. Maybe the boot's not needed. Okay. I lost the boot, but I can get a new one. Now, what can we do with our spike helmet? Okay, so now let's go back here with the helmet, and then let's try to break the block in the, um... Yeah, look at that. Let's try to break the block up here. Up here, we notice this block. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, I kind of, I kind of wished that like that block was a red herring, and that the real solution was somewhere else. Make, I want more people to make levels like this, where the real final solution is even more elaborate. <laughs> like not, not ridiculous, you know, not stupid, but like, you gotta have at least one little ending troll, right? All right, let's go. Or maybe this will take me to the beginning. If this takes me to the beginning, damn it! I want, I want to escape the mansion. I want to escape the mansion where that key door then dumps you at the beginning again. That's the escape the mansion that I want. <laughs> GG, very, very nice level. Be careful what you wish for. Wouldn't that be great? I think that'd be really fun. That was really fun. Uh, awesome work to Tuda and Rubens for that wonderful level. We got so stumped so many times during that. <laughs> oh yeah, do you guys want to see the hint rooms? Yeah, let's do the hint rooms. Okay, um, oh yeah, let's look at the hint room. Hint. Oh, I see. Nice hint, nice hint. Very good hint. All right, Tuda, we're going nuts with the next one. Yes! <laughs> This was really fun. The fact that this one was like a little bit, had some really challenging sections, I think was really fun. As long, see, the thing is, is that you can make it as challenging as you want as long as you have a hit room for casual players, right? Well, I mean, even if the casual players don't like it, I will like the, ooh, okay, yeah, this just basically tells you. Oh, when you go up here, okay, yeah, nothing happens here. Um, give me just one second. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, I see. It shows you that the the boot kind of takes a second to wiggle its way up. Okay, I want to see what these hints are. Oh, boot back and pipe. And, okay, those are... <laughs> the hints are very... <laughs> the hints are very hinty. All right, cool. 
I like it. <laughs> the hints are very to the point, yes. Which, you know what? For somebody who's stumped, I think that's what they need. I think that's a good way to do it. All right, blockage puzzle by Bird Dog Six. Let's go, that's fun. <laughs> 20 questions with Mario Maker stuff is fun. All right, reach the goal as Kate Mario. Um, There is nothing behind the webcam. Just this helmet. And yeah, I love these puzzles that are so simple looking. Clearly what I do is a shell jump. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, maybe you can't do a shell jump right there anyway. Okay, um, wait, so what can I do? Oh, it want, It probably wants me to, wait, can I put this on and get another one? Yeah, it probably wants me to, um, to just bounce off of it up here. I think that's probably what it wants. And now we can get this snowball. Can I go in the pipe? I can't go in the pipe. Uh, can I damage with Sooth Mr. Oh, I can just dodge the slob. Okay. I can come over here and I can hit that. What does that do? Now we've created a blockage and we don't get any more snowballs, which presumably is going to be bad for me. Um, what is in this? A feather that I was unable to get. <laughs> and we're boned. Okay, we have to restart, I think. Well, okay, let's see what the, what's the issue here then? We can go over, oh, we need to probably get this helmet on now. We can come up here, get our snowball. Is there some way to get another snowball? So if we use, How do we, we have to get this. We have to get this um, feather somehow, but look, we can't get it. So it seems we need to remote activate. How? Like, let me test, let me test something. If I come up here, and I throw this, it doesn't go down there. Hmm. 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 We can kill the thwomp. Oh. If this were going back and forth here, and then we, and then we hit this? Is there some, that seems too convoluted though. Is this the solution? There's another snowball. This feels like it can't be the solution and yet, it looks like that's too hard. It'll hit the right wall first and bounce left always. Yeah, it doesn't, it looks like, it looks like there's no way to do that. Something seems wrong. I wonder if there's gonna be thwomp jank or something. Like, what's the purpose? I don't understand the function of the thwomp, to be honest. So let's... Is that a thing? Wait, that's an idea! That's an idea! Hold on. Oh, I can't get, I wanna, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I have ideas. What if I actually begin can I get this snowball? Huh. I want to pick one up. What if I don't have a helmet? If I don't have a helmet, can I pick one up? Yes. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think the first move of this puzzle is to get that snowball. What if, what if now we use the snowball to get up here? Oh no, I think this is still not right. <laughs> wait, 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 I think I was, I think, I think that's not right. Okay, this has, I'm like almost certain that this is the first step. What if we roll the snowball somehow? Can I remote roll the snowball? Uh, is there a slope somewhere? Not really. Uh, I thought, I feel like I almost had a good idea. I'm trying to think of, so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to imagine some way to sort of like remote yeet something 
from anywhere in this area, like ricochet a shell maybe to hit this. Because what needs to happen is I need to, I need to be standing right here. And it makes sense that the switch is here. So basically when a shell or a snowball hits this, it's gonna pop up the cape. If I'm standing there, I can collect it. So the question is, how do I stand here when this gets hit? What is the function of this guy? I don't understand that at all. Um, yeah, I don't understand that at all. No, I really, I'm like imagining ricocheting stuff off of, off of the fall as he comes down and none of that sounds good at all to me. Um, yeah, wait, which I want to do it. Hold on. I want to definitely do it like this where I put a sh another helmet up there. Because bouncing off of this snowball, I just get another snowball. So this looks pretty good. So I think this is like... Oh, maybe I want the shell there. I don't know. There's no way to get back there. Is there? Let's do a loop. Maybe if we do a loop, something will make sense. Hold on. I need to move this out of the way. So this... What we've really accomplished here is we've gotten an extra item to use. And it's just a question of like, what can we do with that extra item, I guess. Um... And it's gone. <laughs> oh, it respawns down there. And I could have a snowball respawn up there. But I don't get how to make it useful. Um, okay, let's do this. And then let's see if something will happen. I could have an extra snowball right now. Right? Um, I could have an extra snowball. And then that would let me jump up there. Maybe that's good enough. Actually, that might be it. Let's try that. I know how to do it. Okay, this is what I want to do. That's what I fucking want to do. Is it? I think that's what I want to do. That's what I was trying to think about how to do. Is that going to actually help? I don't freaking know, but let's try it. Okay, now we go do this. Now we do that. Wait, no, I can't get up there. <laughs> it all made sense and then it all came crumbling down. What do I need to do differently? <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> I started off pretty good and then, and then it went downhill. I think I do see why those red blocks are there. Yeah, I don't understand why the red blocks are there at all. I mean, I suppose I can trap the swamp if I hit the on and off switch twice. What does trapping the thwomp do? <laughs> will the thwomp stay? Actually, I have a question. Will the thwomp stay? Maybe it will. I'm just kind of curious about that. I don't know if... Wait, so, okay. If I do this... I wonder... Now if I hit this again, does the thwomp s Oh, the thwomp does stay down there. But why is that useful? What is the point of that? A uh, snowball hitting a shell? Can you use the thwomp to ride up? Yeah, maybe that's the plan. But then the problem with that is, is this- oh, I need to see if I can get a snowball or a- Something like under the thwomp right now. I suppose. I think I've sort of messed this up a little bit because I'm supposed to. I want. I need my items like down there. <laughs> this is fine. That just kicks, doesn't it? It doesn't grab in this one. Hmm. Well, let's just see if this would go underneath. I think it just bounces off. Yeah, it just bounces off. Um. I also can use this though to test whether this would work but I think if the other one didn't work then this isn't gonna work either yeah <laughs> uh... maybe that's the play wait is this gonna work I just throw it right before, or maybe right when he goes up, right before he hits. 
not even remotely close to enough time. <laughs> it's not even... That's definitely not it. There's... I have to be standing right here when the block on the bottom gets hit. That's the only way. Yeah, it ha I have to already be here. So how can I remote activate? Snowball doesn't bounce off shit, I don't think, but I guess we should try. To my understanding, a snowball will not bounce on anything except for a spring. And even then it's like, oh, anyway, there aren't any springs. Yeah, we could put a snowball and then make it roll. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was trying to set up for like ever. Let's just try shit, but I don't think that works. Like if I just put this here, it's not like it's gonna make it roll. It just doesn't do shit. How can I make it roll? If it were on a, if there were a slope, a slope can make it roll, but there aren't any slopes. Unless the thwomp is secretly a slope. Um, can it roll? Oh. It doesn't roll when I like hit, it does roll when you hit it with your helmet. Oh, does that help us somehow? Does that help us? How does it help us? Eh, okay, 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 okay. Here's the idea. The idea is, let's say that the switch state were opposite right now. If I throw that and run, and then it hit that, it, that would work if right here collects it. Even that would not work if I have to go down here to there. So the question is, is would I collect the cape from here? Then that spat might work. Let's just test and see. Okay, let's just look. Does it look like I would be able to- No way, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, so there must be something trickier here. What is the purpose of the thwomp? The thwomp has to have a purpose here, and these blocks have to have a purpose, right? Well, I mean, they don't have to, but... But why wouldn't they? This is just like an, a permanent platform, which certainly has advantages. Maybe you need this as a platform like that, and that's the purpose. Cause this is, this is not a bad situ- Oh, wait, 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 do it like this. This is not a, this feels like a good situation right here. Cause we have an extra snowball. I feel like this has to be the, this has to be like the winning setup. Cause now I can come over, where do I want this? I can bring the snowball. This feels so close to being useful. I can make the guy go back up. Oh, does that go up? Yeah. Oh, just getting close makes him go up. Uh, this is like a good position though. I have all the items. I have all the items and the thump can kind of go wherever I want. Mm. Mm -hmm. I almost want to like see what happens if you throw the shell up into the snowball, but I think it would be bad. Oh, look at Toadette's eyes looking up. Mm. It's possible to trap the shell. Um, that's a good idea, actually. That might be it. That might actually be the solution. Oh my god, I think that's the solution. Yeah, pooping the snowball here is futile because I can't get there fast enough. It's close, but yeah, it's not fast enough. And I couldn't run the other way. So I think that that, I think that this is actually the solution. This will work. This is nice because you can, if this is the solution, it is actually kind of easy to to get the things you need to do the setup. Maybe. <laughs> no! So plan now is to trap the thwomp down there again. Um, like that. Okay, I think this is good. Now Thwomp will stay there. Oh, I meant to get the snowball, didn't I? I think I needed this. Yeah, I need the snowball is the problem here. Um, okay, we have to go... Wait. Um... Yeah, I need to get a snowball first, but this is the right idea. I didn't mean to put that on. Ah! Got another snowball. Wait. Get this. All right, bring snowball down here. Got another helmet. Oh, don't roll. 
control. No! Oh my god, dude, this is, yeah, the spaghetti is just out of control right now. Oh, I think I have the solution. I just am trying to set it up. Okay, I have to go do everything again. <laughs> Jeez, okay, acquire a snowball. Wait on the snowball. Redo this, yo, Corvus, thank you so much for the stuff. All right, acquire a snowball, come down here. Where can I put this snowball that's just gonna wait for a second? All right, do this. Okay. Oh, this is still wrong, isn't it? Is it? I think this is still wrong. Because I need to get the shell in there somehow. I forgot. What I want, though, is I want this to just be, like, up here. Okay. So... I need the switch stage. Yeah, this isn't... Oh my god. Nice idea, but the execution is ridiculous. Why do you need the snowball? To hit the on and off switch if I don't have the shell. Does the shell bounce the snowball? No. There's an upside down slope. I don't see a slope. Unless you mean just... Oh, you mean like the ceiling? Hmm, how does Snowball behave if you place it on the red platform? Do you mean on the pipe? What I'm tr What I was trying to do is to get the shell- is to get the... Eh. Eh. If there's- right there, the shell can be... Uh not doable yeah no it's not doable the plan is I was trying to get the shell ricocheting between the thwomp and this if the shell were just there ricocheting it'd be great but I can't think of a way to do it unless it's set up to throw on top of there no it just doesn't work it just doesn't work due to the how the switches are set yeah, it just doesn't work. Okay. No, my idea was bad. Falling Swamp destroys items. Um, yeah, I think so. Do you mean like this? Yeah. This is tricky. Um, put the snowball on the left, reactivate the Swamp to go up, throw the shell. I, you can't get there fast enough, Summer Wolf, unless I've misunderstood. Yo, hi, Dap. This is very tricky. Shell has got to bounce. Uh, no, I don't think it does. I don't think the shell bounces off anything. I mean, I'll try it, but it's, just, it's not gonna work. The shell bounces off the thwomp, which was the which was the plan. Maybe that's an actual. Wait, that might actually be a plan. Did you see that? What just happened right now? That might actually be it. There's a crazy way that that's it. Oh, we killed the thwomp. There's a crazy way that that's actually it. Okay, what if we do something like this? <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, I'm at least gonna try my idea. It might be stupid, but let's at least see what we could potentially do with it. The idea is to kind of get this shell in a kicked state right here. Oh, it's really shit with the... Yeah, no, I think I need to throw it. Yeah. Can I grab you with that? Uh, butts. 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 What I'm trying to do is too hard to be the actual solution. <laughs> so that allows us to remote activate the on and off. But I wanted it to just... I wanted the shell to be... Ricocheting back and forth. <laughs> right here. And then if I'm down here. Or right, or over here. But probably down here. I don't know what the use of this is. I was just hoping something would strike me. If I walk close to the thwomp, the thwomp will let the shell remote activate the on and off. Does that help me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But it's something. Hopefully we can figure this one out. I am I am open to suggestions, I think, because this is 
is a doozy right now. All right, so what we need to do is you notice how down here we have this wonderful cape. Reach the goal is Cape Mario. If we could just obtain that, we would win. It appears that the only way to obtain that is to be standing right here in this specific square right here. Well, this gets remote activated. So how can we be standing right here while some, there's a snowball here and a shell here and a thwomp and that's it. Snowball, shell, thwomp. The thwomp can be down here. We can have the thwomp sitting down right here. We can also have these switches on or off one way or another. And it's not, it's not stand here with the shell, throw the shell, uh, have it like ricochet there, there, down there and hit that. It's not throw it and then run over here. You don't get there in time. That's not the answer. A little roll under here. I think what will happen if you try to do that is you'll run over here and the thwomp will block it. That might be anti-cheese for that. I don't actually know. Uh, we can kill the thwomp though, but I don't think you can slow roll it so that it goes under here. We can try. We can try, but I don't think you can do that. Uh, so we can sort of snag a snowball here and you can sort of see that it really isn't hittable in a reasonable way. And, like. Any, any sort of com combination of these elements doesn't make the snowball roll unless I hit it with the helmet. Like, unless I'm wearing the helmet and hit it. This seems like it could be useful. Look at that. Now the thwomp is, like, stuck down there. But stuff doesn't go underneath him, which is a problem. And I can... He, stay, he stays there, which it really feels like this is, you know, almost useful, right? This feels, this feels like these are the first steps of the puzzle. But what can we do with this situation right here? Um, this doesn't go underneath, so it doesn't seem like it helps us. But it, feel, it feels like this is relevant, potentially. I just don't see how. Can I carry a shell through here? Oh, wait, if I need the switch to be the different state and I can't. Oh my gosh, if I hit the switch right now, if I hit the switch right now, maybe I could carry... Whoa! Okay, wait, I actually know how to solve it if I can hit the switch right now. If I were right here with the switch state reversed, I know how to solve it. I could literally carry the shell in there and ricochet it back and forth on the thwomp. How could I hit... How could I possibly hit the on and off switch right now? I can't do it. Ugh, I need another shell. Or I need the... I actually just need the shell to die. I need the shell to hit the on and off switch and then die. Oh my god, what if the snowball... I got crazy- I got crazy ideas, y'all. I got crazy ideas. Snowball in the hole! Yes, snowball in the hole. I need to know where this snowball goes. If it rolls into that hole, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, this needs to be tested. Surely this snowball doesn't- <laughs> That's the solution! That's the fucking solution! Holy shit! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so I have to set it up differently. I have to set it up differently, but I think this is it. I just have to... I have to do that from underneath. I'll show you how. I just have to bop it from underneath. I at least have a plan. I have to... Oh, look, all I have to do is look at that. That's it. That's GG. I just have to do that. I just have to do that. That's what I do. And then I'm on the bottom. And I have unlimited shells again. Oh my god, this is crazy. Whoa, what a puzzle. Yeah, this puzzle is awesome. <laughs> and also ridiculous. Wow, okay, so let's put this up here. Go up here. Um, let's just leave the snowball in rolling position right here. All right, this is rolling position. Uh, the switch is- I think the switch is gonna be hit, or oh, I can't remember, so let's just put it there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. 
So right now, we yeah, we have a solution with us, and it's wild and crazy. We need this guy to come down here and then get trapped right there. Um, then we need to free it again so I can go actually down there. Now here's, I think this is basically it. Yeah, because what we want, oh, okay, then I kick the shell here and then I run. <laughs> oh no, I can't get up! Oh, we were so close. We were so close. I have to, oh, the snowball has to be down here. And then I bounce on the snowball. A new snowball respawns. Then we do it. Now we just kick this and run. Um, then we blow up this one to get up here. Hit that one there. That kills, and the key here is that kills the helmet and now they respawn. So I get more helmets. I can put on one here. I think I might need to... I'm actually gonna go get another snowball first. Um, I don't know if I'll need one, but I feel like I might need to do this move again here to get a snowball. Just in case I need this snowball, let's put it here. We can put on a helmet. Now I can go in here, manually get that in there because I can walk through the swamp, but the shell can't. Now the shell is in position and I did need to have this one here. Um, Yes, now I can go up here, get another snowball. Oh my god, this puzzle! And this is the position! This is the position that we were trying to get the whole time. Wow, what a freaking puzzle. Let's go. You did it differently? Ooh, I'm curious how you did that. Let's go. How do you do that in... Yo, itchy me. Awesome puzzle. How do you do that in 15 seconds, by the way? <laughs> Two minutes, 17 seconds, 15 seconds, same thing. Wow. It should be some crazy cheese. Yeah, maybe there is a way to, um, like, to actually time it or whatever. That was lots of fun. The more you know, the more you know, the more you know, the more you know. Carl, thank you for all the joy.